Okay, welcome back. This is SiliconAngle.com's The Cube, our flagship program. We go out through the events, extract a signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle. And I'm joined here for day two of the keynotes. Jeff Frick, my co-host, Dave Vellante, had to fly to New York uh, for some, uh, some work we had to take care of. He's not going to be here today, but uh, Jeff and I will be handling the interviews. Um, this is the Velocity Conference. O'Reilly Media's amazing event around bringing together the confluence of a couple major mega trends, the cloud, cloud operations, application design, web performance, Velocity is about speed. Speed is what users want, user expectations. We covered all day yesterday, we had interviews talking about you know, what makes the future infrastructure, the future of web apps really, really, really shine, and that's the speed, that's the velocity of web development, velocity of the user experience, but not just by itself, it's tied together with the infrastructure. Um, the word DevOps has been kicked around for a while, but now DevOps is integrating in under a complete holistic approach. That's what Velocity is here to do. Again, this is day one kickoff. Jeff, um, welcome back to theCUBE as the host again. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, uh, good to see everybody. I'm just looking, we've got one of the, uh, the rock stars is signing books over there. The line <laughs> is wrapped around the corner, it's great. I think it's actually one of our CUBE guests from yesterday from, uh, from Google, so it's good to see. So we're here, it's a great day yesterday, John. One of the trends I think kind of interesting, a, ma a micro trend is this using resources and more efficiently using resources, especially in the context of mobile. And, and how that kind of maps back to some of the global uh, resource you know, availability that we're seeing in the cloud. But you know, I was reminded, a lot of conversation yesterday about using the GPU in a mobile device to provide additional horsepower. And a friend of ours a long time ago, Matt Papakipos, 2006 I pulled up his supercomputing paper with a company he was at, uh, Peakstream, writing OS to use the GPU which then he went to Google and wrote Chrome. He led the Chrome team and wrote Chrome. Because I, I was like, why would, you ever, why would you ever use a GPU for an OS and a browser? But here it is, that was 2006, 13, or uh, what, eight years later, you know, we're, seeing, we're seeing that come to fruition. I'm, I'm reminded of Amar's Law, which says, you know, we often overestimate, especially the capital markets, the impact of technology in the short term and underestimate the impact over the long term. So sure enough, 2006, Matt Papakipos is writing about using GPU to write an a OS in a browser. Now we're seeing what's happening with Chrome, we're seeing what's happening with these mobile applications, and people are really putting that stuff to work to get the performance in the day yeah, and age and, we are today. And that's really the key here is performance. And this is a developer conference as well as uh, geeks. Normally the, uh, the O'Reilly events are kind of broken down into a couple different kind of sectors. Really the core alpha geek community, the ones who are really making the market, are really part of that core O'Reilly community. They're the ones who really come together as a community to set the standards in an open way. And, and O'Reilly has always been an open conference, but here obviously dominated by a lot of technical savvy people. But what's happening this year at Velocity is it's a really, really good show because you're starting to see the crossover from geeks and influencers on the technology side to the business side. You're seeing uh, big name companies here like State Farm is here and a bunch of others because what's happening is there's an explosion in the data center. Software defined data center is a big hyped up trend right now. And what's happening is that the web companies, the web scale companies, Google, the old Yahoo, Twitter, Facebook, they are setting the standards around what is happening right now in the mainstream enterprise, IT, cloud, service provider market. So the folks that are powering the, the machinery for user experiences, for low latency applications, really, really fast stuff, those guys are here, and that's what Velocity does. And this really is highlighted today by the biggest news on, in tech today, and that is Facebook announcing essentially video for Instagram. And again, we, uh, Jonathan Hel Helflinger was on before uh, the Cube, and I've met with him, he was at Facebook, you know, the thing about Facebook is they are the poster child of this web ops culture. Mainly because when they started, they built it from scratch with open source. They started in a dorm room at Harvard, storied history, we all know the, the, uh, the social network, uh, obviously movie, but really the story about Facebook is about they built their own. They had expertise, they didn't have a lot of money, they were a startup, they built their own stuff. They didn't buy off the shelf commercial stuff. They created the web ops culture with Google and Yahoo and these web scale companies. That is now the leading bellwether for technology in business. And you're seeing that's a big trend here. So my prediction, Jeff, is you're going to see Velocity Conference really morph into a, a community-based program and conference into a full-on mainstream uh, business IT, 
business operations, because business value now is tied directly to design of systems. The system software, systems on the design side, on the user interface, and that is the common theme that we heard yesterday. That when you design an application, you design the performance of, of JavaScript or whatever code you're writing on the front end, you got to make those trade-offs with the back end, and that has to be done in tandem with the geeks who do the cloud stuff. Right, so right. it's not about cloud, this is a cloud show, this is a front end show, this is really the intersection, and what makes this show so special, in my opinion, is really the intoxicating concepts around agile, meaning edge-based programming for web developers, and then intersecting that with real-time, policy-based, dynamic infrastructure, so that developers don't have to be network geeks right, to, right. To, to deploy this stuff. So again, this conference is, again, at the beginning of this massive modernization trend, and developers lead the way. We've had guests on yesterday saying the same thing. It's about the developers in an open source framework, whether it's open source code, or collaborating on standards, and that, to me, is the big story. I, and I think the collaboration piece, John, is, is really interesting, because we have a number of startups that are here at the show that we're interviewing, but there's also a lot of big companies, like we guys had Google on yesterday, I'm looking over at the Intuit, has a huge booth, so these hyperscale, kind of consumer-facing web companies that have really pushed the envelope in terms of all these systems, infrastructure, hardware, software, performance, and again, hyperscale by its very name, are still here, and they're still contributing. And the guys that are actually writing the code, that are actually developing the breakthrough, continue to share their ideas. So it's a very different uh, kind of way, or mojo, if you will, than it used to be, where everything was closed, it was our stuff, we didn't share anything, those are the crown jewels. And you know, it's not all specifically open source, but it is an open source kind of vibe that people are sharing. And, and, and the hyperscale guys that have kind of uh, pioneered the space are willing to come on stage and talk about, uh, to a great level of detail, what it is, you know, where the bodies are buried, what you should optimize, where the potential problems are, so that everyone, you know, it's the uh, proverbial, uh, the boat, Okay, well we're, the we're going to be broadcasting live all day here for day two. Yesterday we had 17 interviews, they're all up on YouTube. Go to youtube.com slash siliconangle, go to siliconangle.com. We had a lot of blog posts, all the coverage from Velocity. Uh, Velocity event had uh, 1,200 tweets yesterday on the Velocity Conference hashtag. Go to Twitter and use the hashtag Velocity Conference, Velocity C-O-N-F. Hashtag Velocity C-O-N-F for Velocity Conference. Ask us questions. Ask us what you want to see, provide some commentary, provide some interaction. We're here to serve the data, extract the city from the noise. That's our objective for today. We'll be right back to, with our guest interviews. We've got Google, we've got all the top uh, alpha geeks here, we've got the tech athletes, as we say, and we're going to bring that signal to you here on siliconangle.com. This is O'Reilly Media's Velocity Conference, day two. We'll be right back with our guests after this short break. <laughs>